Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Slapside. And as you can see, this is my setup or my loadout for pubs. And I highly recommend you guys go and try it out, man. It's, it's really good, man. It's really balanced for pubs. Um, obviously, in pubs, you're going to get a lot of, like, gas grenades, shock charges, and all that stuff. Uh, I probably should be using tactical mask, but it's not like the old days, you know. Like, uh, Black Ops 1 had one of the best tactical mask uh, setups or perks in uh, COD history. You know, I really wish they could go back to that. It was so good. Um, but uh, in this gameplay, I just really want to talk about the gameplay and help anybody that's trying to go for a, a nuke, uh, you know, just become a better, um, you know, streaker, uh, you know, become better at going for nukes. Honestly, when, when it comes to going for nukes, you just got to play for kills, obviously, and play the map to its um, advantage. Uh, obviously, this is one of the most uh, deadly head glitches, and I get my score streaks or my uh, advance really fast. And the reason for that is because I'm using uh, pretty much a score streak system opposed to the kill streak system. I feel like the kill streak system is good, um, but in this game, I think you know, just if you're an OBJ player, a person that just plays a lot of OBJ, you're gonna get all those points. You know, like the UAV goes towards it. Um, I got this ammunition box right here. I mark it, and anytime my teammates get it, it's gonna go towards my my score streaks. So uh, I highly recommend use the score streak system if you're not. Um, and yeah, man. Honestly, this Cronus Squall is my favorite gun right now in the game. I feel like it's just super good. It's way different. My build is way different from the Warzone uh, build, obviously. But um, I'm going to be honest, you know. Let's just be honest. I mean, getting nukes in Modern Warfare 2 is, is super hard. Unless you're doing, like, reverse boosted lobbies, then obviously it's going to be easy. But it's not easy, man. But right now, I've just been kind of into the game. I've been really enjoying it and i'm just working this area right here you can see on the mini map you, you can see they're spawning right there at that loading dock so as they're pushing out i'm just kind of trying to collect as many kills as possible but eventually they catch on one of the guys were like hey, he's streaking you know like sometimes they, they catch on you know they see the notification on the top right and they see that oh he's on a 15 gun streak or whatever you know some people are aware of that kind of stuff so um try to just like you know bait it you know just don't overplay uh uh uh, area too much you know probably get like 25 percent of your kills for, for the nuke in that area don't get greedy you know what i mean when you start feeling the heat you feel like they're really catching on you got to switch it up man you got to switch positions and uh, find a different part of the map uh, so i go back to this uh, part of the map right here and just try to work them and to be honest getting them spawning inside this building at dome is just pretty much what you want to do you know it's, it's just traditional spawn trapping like modern warfare three days uh dome was actually created during um i, I think it was created when was it created guys i think modern warfare three right some Modern Warfare 3 maps, so if you know, spawn trapping them at B-Flag has always been, like, the traditional spawn trap for Modern, for Dome, so, uh, right here, I'm just gonna try and get a lot of my kills right here, um, luckily, they don't, they don't switch to the sniper, sometimes they get, um, a little smarter, you know, when they, they know, when they know they can't get you off a of heady or whatever, they're gonna switch to a sniper and try to get you off that head glitch, so, luckily, um, they didn't catch on, and on top of that, we had some, uh, randoms on our team that had, you know, chopper gunners and all that, so, when you have the chopper gunner, I was just telling them, you know, just just go ahead and do your thing and uh, keep them occupied. I feel like having heli... Look at how many streaks we have. We have the um, chopper gunner, uh, attack helicopter, and the VTOL. Those are three streaks. So to them, they're just like, they're like, this is rough. And we also have like sentry guns out. This is pure pub stomping. So just having a lot of streaks does help. It will make them quit. But at the same time, it makes them forget about the guy that's streaking. So try to, you know, use the kill streaks to mask... Uh, the streaker but right here this was dangerous and i don't know why they added the uh, last stand back to call of duty i feel like the people that are in charge of like call of duty um nowadays they're just they don't understand you know like they don't understand like what the uh, ogs want you know what i mean we're going towards a different direction in a uh, call of duty where we're protecting bad players we just pretty much want to want to sell them skins and we just want them to have a uh, easy ride you know like uh, back in the days when i first started playing cod which was call of duty 4 it was it was tough man i mean i went into tdm and i had to learn I had to, I had to learn to get good i was like wow these guys are really owning me as you can see i'm on 20 gun streak right here and this is where i get a little tight and i, I mean just judging this video I, I can tell i get like majority of my kills just behind this area right here so if you could just control them right here spawn trap them obviously every game is different um sometimes your teammates you know they break down and the other team's gonna push your spawn so in that situation i mean it's just a bad lobby i mean it's a lobby that you probably can't nuke so it, like, like i said man getting a nuke is, is super tough but i'm just giving you guys some information on like how you can play the map a little better as far as dome goes so um uh, i don't know why they took out 10v10 dome i feel like 10v10 should be a permanent 
playlists in uh, Modern Warfare 2. I just don't understand, you know, like why they do these things, you know. So me personally, uh, what I'm doing right now with Modern Warfare 2, I'm just playing a little bit of ranked, a little bit of Warzone ranked, and I'm just trying to play a little bit of pubs to pretty much get this nuke uh, calling card. But uh, yeah, man, I took a big break, honestly, from uh, just gaming in general. You know, I've just been... Um, just working, working, um, working out, and I haven't been gaming, but it's, it's nice though, man. If you got homies that you've been playing with since, since you know, uh, earlier CODs or previous CODs, it's good to kind of like keep back in touch and you know, play with them. You know, I'm a, I'm an older uh, player, so when I play with uh, all my all my boys and stuff, they're younger, so you know, I mean, to them they're still young, so like it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? But they're all mature and like, it's just fun, you know what I mean, to be able to. Uh, get up on here and just school some uh newbies but uh right here what am i doing man yeah i think i'm scared in this situation right here so i really need some ammo and see how i use a pila take down the uav give them no chance to know where i'm at a uh, uav can just kill your streak like obviously so you, you got to be really aware of the uavs in the air and just be a really aware person you know this, it's all about map awareness and all that and what's crazy about this game it's actually a close game so um it was good man it was it was just a really good uh strategic slow nuke you know um actually i like my hard point nuke better but you know why not just put this up and yeah i get the nuke right there man and i go on like a little 33 gun streak my um goal was actually to go on like on a 40 gun streak you know try and go on a crazy gun streak because i had a lot of time you know and for some reason kill confirm goes up to 100 and um in dome but when you play like shoot house they don't they don't change the 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 limit you know the square limit so it's kind of dumb I, I just don't know what these people are doing um as far as like whoever's in charge of controlling the playlist and all that it just it doesn't make any sense so um it's it's frustrating you know um but you know cod is something that i play that's the only game i really play uh, i'm looking forward to probably getting a ps5 and i don't know i might play some single player games like final fantasy and all that but um that ak is kind of kind of jumpy right there right so yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed um Maybe I'll start posting a little bit more, you know. Uh, I might do some podcasts or something. Uh, and I appreciate whoever is watching this video and made it up to this point. Hey, man, I thanks for sticking around, listening to me just ramble off about talking about the game. And even though it's like, you know, COD's in a bad state right now. No one likes it. There's just a lot of controversy going on. It just sucks, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, like I said, I've been playing COD since, you know, Call of Duty 4. And it's just, it's just a trip, you know. All right, bye. Oh shit! Oh! Oh, I thought you said it. Yeah, I don't, don't call it. Oh my bad. Damn, bro. Hey, you guys got. Nah, GG, nah, I'm playing. I'm just playing, dude. GG, you guys. Hey, you guys knew I was streaking, though, right? Yeah. You knew, though, right? For sure, right? You, you had a game. Right. You guys knew, uh. For sure. Alright, then ask my fucking. He called me a camper now. I have him on mute, but. Nah, he called me a camper now. Did you have fun last night? Yeah, fun.